Good evening to you. Today we are going to look at a subject that is current. It's about two wisdoms that are engaging in a battle. One wisdom is called the wisdom that is from earth below, is natural and is demonic. There is jealousy, selfish ambition exist, there is disorder and every evil thing. So when this kind of wisdom begins to percolate through the entire system, what happens is oh, the whole system becomes corrupt and anybody else entering the system also become corrupt. So seats of governance have long given way to a system of dog-eat-dog, dog. I profit anyhow, somehow, struggle for existence, I have my own end, might is right, by hook or by crook, that's the wisdom that has been operating. So who among you is wise and understanding, let him show by his good behavior what witness is going to prevail. Uh, this, is the, this is what we need to uh, discuss. What is the wisdom that will prevail in a nation, in government, or in business, or in professions? Uh, so there is another kind of wisdom. The wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable. So here are the qualities of a wisdom that comes from the Good Shepherd. This is wisdom for raising up family. This is wisdom for children, how to honor parents, and for parents, how to make their home, their kingdom, the first place of success, first place of competence, their home and out of a well-built home, how you move into society to be a corporate leader, government leader, professional leader. So this is a wisdom that is from above. It, it is pure meaning. It is good for you and good for others. Uh, impure is that it only gets you the advantage by hook or by crook then this wisdom is peaceable. So it makes peace for all. It is good for the vendor and it is good for the vendee. It is good for the doctor, it is good for the patient. It is good for the lawyer, it is good for the client. Makes peace meaning it's an equal deal. Doctor gets paid for his knowledge and skill and patient gets attended the best it has to be. Uh, so this, this, this is the concept of shalom in the Hebrew language. And in Greek language, it was called Irene. From that, you get names like Irene, Irangani. Uh, so the thing about about this wisdom is that it it reconciles, it makes peace, it bridges gulfs, it bridges uh, hurts, it heals hurts, heals bruises. So that is that is there is a wisdom like that. But we need the good shepherd to come into our heart to exercise that wisdom. If not, it, the wisdom that operates in the world, not only in politics, in professions, in the corporate, is the wisdom where I get the biggest portion at the cost of someone else. And we have agreed for this for a long time. So this wisdom from above is gentle, is reasonable. Wisdom from above is full of mercy and good fruit, unwavering, without hypocrisy. So how do we... So these are excellent qualities. <clears throat> so nations go the way of the majority. So majority is might. So if most people practice the wisdom that is from earth, which is earthy, natural and demonic, jealousy, selfish ambition, the disorder, every evil thing, then those who get into the legislature or judiciary or executive or professions or corporate, the majority will be like that. That will be the majoritarian wisdom that is ruling. And it will rule like that. But there is a wisdom from above available from the Good Shepherd. We are in a critical juncture in our nation to decide what wisdom will we pitch for. While we are asking others to pitch for the right wisdom, how are we practicing wisdom? So here is the wisdom that is offered to us, wisdom from above, from the Good Shepherd. Pure, meaning it, it, it does well for both sides. That's what pure is, does well for both sides. Peaceable, it uh, removes barriers, obstacles, hurt, hate, offense, it removes. That's what peace is. It is gentle, reasonable, full of mercy, good fruits, unwavering, 
good fruits pass on to others, unwavering, without hypocrisy. So how do we get, get about this wisdom? The seed whose fruit is righteousness is sown in peace. So our profession may practice as sowing a seed. Uh, whatever the seat of authority or governance or scope given to us, we practice what we do daily, every act, as a seed for peace, and it is righteous, and that brings about peace. So this is what we are. We, we have to choose what we vote for, wisdom that comes from above, which benefits both parties equally, benefactor and the beneficiary, or the wisdom from here below, which is always demanding, which is always discontent, which is grabbing and grabbing as much as I can. So we are at crossroads which wisdom we would settle for. So I strongly urge you to settle for the wisdom that comes from the Good Shepherd when He moves in our heart. He makes the pathways right. He takes us into green and pure pastures, enough for all and peace for all. And he leads us in the paths of righteousness. And he appoints a table even in adversity. And that table has the portion of our life. People who will influence us, people whom we will influence, our juniors, our seniors, our colleagues. That is what a table is. Uh, this is what the Good Shepherd offers us when we ask him to take over. So may that encourage you that there's a wisdom. If we together practice it, we can overcome the evil wisdom that has prevailed for a long time in our systems. And that evil wisdom corrupts. And a seat of governance then is used not for the benefit of all, but it is used for the benefit of a few. And they become Nephilim, they become giants, they become monsters. This has happened from time immemorial. So this is a time to choose for wisdom that comes from above, from the Good Shepherd in our family practice, how we raise our family, how we pitch a future for our children, how we do our job, profession. This is a time to choose for wisdom from above. So our hope is wisdom from above will overrun the systems of Sri Lanka. And this evil, natural, demonized system of all the seats of governance looking so dark will be changed by people of those who choose wisdom coming from above. Thank you.